Hi Aries, welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius love reading. So this is going to cover May 26th through May 29th. Full moons are all about reveals and illuminating what's been hiding underneath the surface. And Sag energy is all about being free flowing, free loving, doing what you want unapologetically, being authentically your true self. So this reading is going to illuminate someone's truest, most blunt, expressive feelings towards you. So we're going to find out what that is. Okay, you know what? I was going to start by shuffling, but I feel like that's always a sign when a card just falls out like that. I'm hearing take the one on the top. This is who is in your energy, Aries. So, <clears throat> two of swords. This could be an air sign in particular. This could be a Libra, but it could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius. But this is someone trying to make a decision. <clears throat> they, this is someone that maybe had options or was trying to decide between you and someone else. Or it could just be someone that was really trying to like prioritize their life. But I feel like this is someone that a decision was a big deal in the way that they interacted with you. And I feel like you being one of those decisions between this, either you and someone else or you and someone else's priorities. It's almost like there was an, a battle, an inner battle for this person. And I feel like Somehow that's describing who this person is. Maybe they had a difficult time making decisions as well. All right. So we're going to find out what's being illuminated for Aries with the Sag full moon. Take the one on the top I heard. Flip it over. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person's definitely feeling like they lost you. This person's missing you. I feel like they feel like they lost a house, a home, a happy, healthy, wealthy family. This person is feeling like they really dropped the ball. I feel like maybe they feel like they made the wrong decision here between you and someone else. You could also be dealing with an earth sign. It could be a Virgo, it could be a Capricorn, or it could be a Taurus. So let's see what the likely energy to occur between you and this person is during this full moon. Aries person's likely energy. Ooh, we have the seven of swords. This is lying, deception. This is some type of energy that really isn't serving you. Honestly, I feel like this person is not ready to admit to themselves the gravity of losing you. They know that they lost you. They know they lost a good thing because it's what's being illuminated. The queen of pentacles in reverse. The loss of a nurture, the loss of like a very, very motherly energy. Even if you're a man, it's it's this energy of someone being able to take care of you. I feel like this person knows that they lost a good nurturer because they made a wrong decision here. And I feel like with the Seven of Swords coming out as the energy that's most likely to occur, it's like even if you talk to them, because Swords energy is about communication. It's like all you would get is lies because they're not ready to be honest with themselves yet. And then we have the bottom of the deck energy is marriage. So we have the four of wands. This is what they keep thinking about. Sacred union energy, marriage energy. This is someone, it's almost like they really wanted to go the distance with you. But something happened and I feel like one bad decision maybe led to another, led to another. Either way, the ball was dropped. But they keep thinking about like, getting this back in sync, this whole divine union between the two of you. All right, let's get more for Aries. By the way, this person could also be an Aries. They could be a Sag or Leo, but in particular, the Four of Wands is an Aries. So we have go with the flow, and this is what's about being, what's being illuminated between you and this person. So this person, I almost feel like makes or made so many bad decisions that now they're, it's almost like they're like, I give up. I surrender. I'm giving it up to God. Take the last one I heard. Okay. Patience. So there's more to come between you and this person. It's not the end all be all situation yet. There's more coming. Um, but there is something in here about this person not being ready to be honest. And I feel like that's why you have to have patience. Because even if you wanted an answer right now, it wouldn't be a truthful answer. We have the Halloween witch and the woods witch. So I feel like this is all about connecting with nature. One thing that's interesting about the woods, it makes me think about the forest, like depth. There's a lot of 
a lot of weird stuff you can find in the woods and also just a lot of like depth in the woods you never really know where it ends I feel like this person's so willing to go so deep with you and then also with the Halloween witch I feel like <laughs> This is kind of a nod and a confirmation of the fact that they're still playing games. There's still like this false um, deception going on. There's still a mask that they're wearing. There's a facade going on with this person. I feel like they're having a difficult time dealing with their demons, but they are dealing with their demons. All right. All right, more for Aries and what's being illuminated. Thank you. We have the Ancient Ones, number one. So your guides are definitely watching out for you in this connection. This is a divine connection that was orchestrated by spirit, by your ancestors. Um, this is definitely your, all those in the celestial realm, all those spirit guides watching out for you. This is definitely their energy coming through, letting you know, hey, we got this. This connection, Aries, between you and this person, However fucked up it happened, however fucked up shit went down, it was all meant to be, and it's all to have you on this path of ascension. But this person's also, I feel like, realizing what they did wrong, and they're also realizing that they do, it's like they want you as the end-all be-all. All right. Let's get more between Aries and their person. What's being illuminated? What just popped out? Forgiving and learning. And it does make sense with the Seven of Swords. So this person's got a lot of honesty, especially with themselves, to um, really unleash. I feel like that's what needs to be released during this full moon with this person. They need to release some sort of honesty. <clears throat> Give your relationship a chance. You can't even make this stuff up. Give your relationship a chance, forgiving and learning. This person wants to be forgiven. But the problem here is you're going to have to wait a little bit because they're taking their sweet ass time because they have not yet admitted to themselves that what they did to you was wrong. I feel like the way they treated you was subpar and they're not being honest with themselves about that. And until... Until they are honest with themselves about that, you're not going to get a genuine apology and you're, this relationship does not have a chance in hell. But there is with this coming out, it's like this person is thinking about what they want and I feel like eventually an apology is going to have to come to the forefront. Look at the bottom of the deck energy here, bottom line, worth waiting for. Aries and their person, what's being illuminated between Aries and this person? <clears throat> What's being illuminated during the Sagittarius full moon between Aries and this person? Unavailable and support. Unavailable support. So this definitely makes sense with this person not being able to be completely honest with themselves. I feel like that's why the patience card came out. That's why they're unavailable. They got to sort out their priorities. They got to be more honest with themselves. They got to stop wearing this false facade, this Halloween costume that they have on. They got to let it go. They got to release and unleash some sort of honesty within themselves. But I feel like once they do that, it's going to be smooth sailing with go with the flow, support. This person's, it's like this relationship has so much potential, but what's required is this person being very honest with themselves which I feel like is a very hard thing for this person in particular to do. Whoever you're dealing with, Aries, they have a, a very difficult time admitting that they are wrong. Let's find out more about what's being illuminated with this full moon in Sagittarius for Aries. Nightingale spirits, love is all around, okay? So this person's very much in love with you still. Take the one on the top. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. And I think that's so funny that we have this energy of, first of all, this is an eight. Eights are about unfoldings. It's an infinity symbol. So there's more coming. Infinity goes on and on. So there's definitely more happening here that you don't know of, that you can't see just yet. But with life is a mystery, this mysterious, not knowing yet energy, unavailable patience, this person's not ready for you yet. But I think they are on the brink of it. They are on the brink of the shadow work with forgiving and learning, give your relationship a chance. The ancient ones are gonna get through with the, through to them. They're gonna go to the flow, like go through them with flow. I feel like 
the ancestors have everything to do with this connection working out. And with love is all around, this person never stopped loving you either. I also feel like it's their spirit guides loving on them and yours loving on you. But I do feel like this is coming around ultimately. Let's get a final card for what's going on, what's being illuminated between Aries and this person for the Sagittarius full moon. Thank you. Abundance. Love it. So this person is definitely thinking about the future with you. They're thinking about a bright side with you. Things didn't go well, but they want things to go well. And I don't know if you just heard that motorcycle zooming outside, but it's very clear to me that that was an indication that this person really wants to ramp up the energy towards you. They do want to come forward towards you. Hopefully that's the same speed as spirit coming through this person with flow and ease and kind of like nudging them in the right direction with you. But I feel like there is an honesty here that needs to be admitted with this person to themselves before they can be honest with you. And I feel like that's what you have to be patient for because right now they're not available. They're not ready for you right now. But I hope this resonated, Aries. I really appreciate your time and energy. And thank you so much for watching this reading. I'll see you in another lunar phase reading very soon.